Hello again, uh, and welcome back to uh, Character Creation, and this time, as noted in the last video, we're going to have a look at spells. Um, so if we go into uh, Bob's Abilities tab here, we can see that he's got the Spellcasting trait, and if we open that up, and we can also see that he has a feature here called War Domain, so let's open that up as well. Uh, now these two, between these two, this one uh, gives uh, Bob all the details about how he casts his spells and how many he can cast and what his save DC and is, etc, etc. So that all the information is in there. And in this one here, it tells him that he has some uh, special spells which he gets uh, specifically because he has chosen the War Domain. So we're actually going to deal with these first. Um, so we're switching to the Actions tab. And you see that Fantasy Grounds has already got in uh, two first level spell slots here, and there's also a line for uh, spells. Um, this is uh, automatic. Uh, Fantasy Grounds uh, knows that uh, a spellcaster who gets their spells at first level will have two uh, first level spell slots to play with. So it automatically adds those in, and uh, obviously because of the spell casting trait, it's added in these uh, in this uh, spells line as well. So we want to uh, get the war domain spells in. These are special spells that the um, the cleric will always have available, uh, no matter how many uh, other spells that they memorize for the day. They will always have these, and these spells don't count towards the total that they can actually memorize for the day. So they're, they're special in that respect, and we want to treat them specially uh, within Fantasy Grounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, our edit list here, and then we're going to create a new power group. Um, and we're going to call this a uh, power group War Domain Spells. And uh, once we tab out of that, you'll see that this has changed the name of this power group here to War Domain Spells. We're not worried about putting anything in here at this stage, as you'll see why in a minute. Um, so we've now created this group, and we're going to then drag these two spells, the first level spells that they get, into and drop them onto the title bar for War Domain Spells. So these are the two first level spells that they get uh, at that time. Now, we don't need this uh, little bit that we added in just to create this heading, so we can actually now just delete that so we can get rid of it. Um, and we can stop editing as well. Uh, now, what we need to do is we need to tell Fantasy Grounds that these are spells, um, and we need to get uh, Fantasy Grounds also to calculate the correct saving throws, uh, etc. Uh, and just by dragging and dropping them into this particular one, it won't do that uh, in this case. We'll, we'll see that it does so normally uh, in a minute. But in this case, because we've dropped it into something we've created, we need to sort that out. So we need to go to this little magnifying glass on the end of the uh, row here and open up the dialog box. So the first thing is that the group type here has got a sword icon which shows that it's an ability. And these aren't really abilities, they're spells. So if we click on that, uh, and it'll now change to a spell group. And you'll see that the uh, war domain spells here now has uh, brackets level 1 uh, after it, which means that it's recognizing that these are spells and that they're in fact level 1 spells. If we then look at this box down here, um, this is uh, showing the, the ability uh, which is used, or which Fantasy Grounds uses, to calculate things like the uh, attack rolls and spell save DCs. Um, and you've got three possibilities here. I mean, it, it, it covers all the possible things that you might want, but all you really need to concern yourself with here is the ability uh, box. And if we just click on that, and we click through this until we find uh, Wisdom, because Wisdom is the cleric spellcasting ability, uh, we change that to Wisdom. You do not need to then change Attack or Save DC because they uh, work off base. Uh, we have set the base as Wisdom, so therefore all the spell save DCs, etc. Will, will be correct. I mean, you can change these to Wisdom if you like, but you don't need to as long as you change the top box. So that's really it. We, we have created our power group now for our uh, spells uh, for the War Domain, um, and we can now move on to the Cleric's other spells. 
so we can get rid of the war domain bit and we can concentrate now on the spell casting here and the first thing you'll see is that there is a link here to the cleric spells so we move that over to the side and if we read a bit further down we see that we've got three cantrips uh, so here are all the cantrips that we can uh, get you can get to spells another way as well you can get them from the button here if you click on the spells here uh, and this is particularly useful if you've got a, a multitude of sources open where spells might be available from uh, other books. Uh, this link uh, here is only going to link to the player's handbook. It's not going to, it's not going to show you spells that might be in another book. Uh, so in this one here, you click on the spells list and then you go down to the level here. We're looking for cantrips, which are zero level, so uh, filter out zero level. And then we look at the source, and we're looking at the cleric, so click on cleric. And now we have a list of all of the spells which are available, or cantrips which are available to the cleric. And you'll notice here that we've got a couple from uh, Xanathar's Guide to uh, Everything, as well as the ones from the Player's Handbook. Um, so that's... Uh, a useful uh, way to filter out your spells if you've got multiple uh, books open. Uh, so anyway, we know uh, three spells, so we're just going to drag and drop these in and make sure you don't drag and drop them into the war domain spells part. We want to drag and drop them into the spells part. So we're just, uh, we're just going to take three spells at random. It doesn't really matter which ones they are. Uh, and that's it. Um, and you see that the uh, the change this is changed up here to spells cantrips um, and if we click on these little magnifying glasses it closes all that up and it shows you um, the group that the spells are in these are just in the group spells we can see down here we've got the display set to group if we change that to actions uh, then we get our little actions tabs for all the effects uh, if you want to see what the uh, effects are, then you click on the little magnifying glass just to open up the spell and it will show you what it is uh, and the save and everything like that and the damage. And we can see here uh, that Fantasy Grounds in this case has automatically calculated the spell save DC. Um, and we know that the spell save DC, if we scroll down here, we can see that it's 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your wisdom modifier. So the spell save DC here is calculated out at DC 13, which is correct because it's 8 plus our proficiency bonus of 2 plus our wisdom modifier of 3, uh, making a total of, of, 10, uh, of 13. So we don't need, for the normal spells, we don't need to do what we did with the war domain spells, which is was, which was to go into this little power group here and change it. In fact, as you can see, uh, it's got wisdom in there already. Um, so that's the uh, cantrips, um, and we now need to look at the uh, sp the actual spells, the spells that the um, caster can have. And it gives you this in, in here. It says to prepare a list of spells that are available. Choose a number of cleric spells equal to your wisdom modifier plus your cleric level. So our wisdom modifier is 3, our level is 1, so we get 4 spells, and we can only get uh, 4 first level spells uh, to start with. Now, technically, a cleric knows all of the first level spells. They can actually only memorize 4 spells uh, each day. Um, so we can show you uh, this, but let's uh, drag in some spells. So we can just drag these in uh, pretty much anywhere we like. If we drop that on there, uh, we'll see that we now have a new power group, Spells Level 1. So let's drag that in. Uh, let's drag 2, 3, uh, 4, 5. Right, so all of those spells have now gone into the Spells uh, Level 1. So we can get rid of all of this, we don't need it anymore. And we can tidy this up just by clicking on these little magnifying glasses to close everything up. And you'll see that Fantasy Grounds has already created all the effects uh, for the uh, spells. Uh, this one here, you've got uh, a saving throw required, you've got an effect, um, you've got the concentration tab, you've got the duration, etc. So all of that is automatically uh, added in. Now these will not necessarily be absolutely perfect, um, but they, um, you know, until you uh, know about effects, then I would just leave them uh, as they are. 
Um, so we know that our, our, our character can only actually uh, memorize four spells for the day. They don't, they, although they know all of the spells, I mean, we've got five here, but they can only learn four. So how do we do that? Well, we'll go into preparation mode here, and if we click on the standard uh, until we get preparation, and you'll now see that there are a row of dots uh, have appeared against each spell. Now we're not worried about the war domain spells because we can always know them, so we're just going to leave them as they are. Um, but we need to choose four out of the five spells we've got here. So let's choose uh, those four there. And then when we change back to combat mode, uh, you'll see that the spell that we didn't tick uh, is no longer there. We've got the star icon to the left hand side of all the spells that we've memorized. So if we just go back to preparation, you can see that the command spell, we didn't tick it so therefore it's not appearing on our list. Um, okay, if you noticed uh, when we went into this uh, little uh, group earlier that there's a prepared number here. This is the number of spells that the um, character can prepare per day. And you can edit that to whatever you like, but obviously this is correct because we worked out that they, they can prepare four, so the four is correct. Uh, so if we close this off, um, now Fantasy Grounds, when you cast a spell, Fantasy Grounds doesn't automatically um, use up the spell slot. You have to do that manually. So, supposing uh, Bob here, uh, during the course of his day, has uh, uh, cast a spell, then we would uh, tick off uh, one of these uh, spell slots here. Um, and that tells them visually that he's got one spell slot left. He can cast any of his spells again. Uh, if we click the last spell slot off, um, then what happens is that all of the spells uh, disappear, except of course cantrips, because you can always ca ca use cantrips since they don't use spell slots. So uh, our two spell slots have completely uh, uh, been used up, and so all of the spells that um, he had available uh, have, have disappeared off the character sheet. So again, a visual uh, notification that um, the characters run out of spells for the day. These spell slots will be returned um, when Bob takes a long rest, uh, when the Dungeon Master um, uh, does his thing on his side of the thing, uh, and the party take a long rest, then these spell slots will be unticked. And you can also, of course, just manually untick uh, one of the slots yourself, and the spells will uh, come back. Um, and so the final point with spells is, as you can see, we've got this in the uh, uh, actions display, and we've got these little buttons if we mouse over them, it'll actually tell you what to do. Uh, but this is this is how we would cast spells. So any buttons where the effect has been provided, this is how we would cast the spell. So if we want to uh, cast a, a divine, uh, the, the, the bane um, saving throw, normally we would have to have a, a target, etc. Um, and you can see that it's actually done something, and then we can do this one, which applies uh, an effect to the, the character of this one heals and it will roll the dice and it will apply the healing. Normally, as I say, you need to have a target targeted, etc. for all of these things to work. But this is how you cast your spells and this is how you apply the effects, deal damage, uh, force saving throws, etc. etc. So normally you would have your uh, actions tab set up like this with combat in the mode and displaying uh, actions. Uh, okay, I think that's enough for spells. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.